This is Twit. I remember you talking not too long ago about some troubles with the Apple Watch and uh, its ability to to recognize fitness, um, to recognize activity and to sort of track uh, your activity over time. Can you tell us a little bit about the the issues that you sure, ran into yeah. before we yeah, talk yeah. about this? I, I've been meaning to put together a post on this for uh, Six Colors, the site where I write, and I just haven't had a chance to sort of go through it. But it came up when I was on vacation recently, and my wife and I went on a bike ride, and we, you know, tried to very dutifully start our cycling workouts, and then, you know, we got to the our halfway point, right? Like we rode, you know, an hour, and we stopped, and we compared notes, and I had like. 46 minutes of exercise and my wife had like six and we're like, Mm. what is going on here? We just bike the same route. I understand there are some differences between like who's in better shape, et cetera, but it seemed like such a huge disparity that I was like, this seems odd. And so I was trying to sort of put together some thoughts about that and why that might be the case and, and factors that could affect it. Uh, and I, I've certainly gone through a lot of the different possibilities of like, all right, can we reset your watch? Can we recalibrate your watch? Can we figure out ways that sort of like make this work better uh, or, or at least test hypotheses about why is this not working as well as it seems like it should be? Is it working as well? Is this accurately measuring something that is just, you know, doesn't happen to apply in this case? Like it wasn't exercise minutes or whatever. So I think it was sort of the the sort of pushing back against this idea of the exercise minutes, especially as it was a bit of a black box where Apple's concerned, mm-hmm. right? It's, it's giving you these minutes, which are ostensibly based on how hard you're working, right? The equivalent of a brisk walk, they say, but it doesn't really tell you. And there are exercises where if you do certain types of workouts, for example, yoga, not a workout that always raises your heart rate, but the yoga workout will give you credit for each minute that you do yoga, regardless of what your heart rate is. And so it feels like, well, what is the incentive for me to accurately track my workouts if it feels like in these cases, it's giving me workout credit for stuff that doesn't raise my heart right. rate, but here it isn't giving me stuff for that does raise my heart rate. So just sort of getting into the frustration with that. And I, I was interested to see that they had announced a couple of new re- refinements to the cycling workouts in watch OS eight, including the ability to actively or automatically pause and resume uh-huh. your workouts, which does just- seem really beneficial. That I am very excited about. Um, my partner and I went on a, uh, I think it was like 18 mile hike. Um, but I think it was just last weekend. And one thing that we did is when we would sit down uh, for, for a little water break or snack break or what have you, um, we would pause our workouts. And then <laughs> inevitably, every single time, one of us would have to remind the other person, resume your workout as we kind of uh, carried on on the trail. And so when I saw that they were enabling a new feature that will automatically resume, I was very happy about that because uh, he and I were both complaining about the fact that we yeah. definitely lost like 250 feet. <laughs> right, right. Of, They've done uh, that, They've that done that for, it's been a running thing for a while for outdoor runs. They've had that, but they, they haven't had it for cycling. I don't know if they're adding it for hiking, but uh, hiking so weird too, right? Because like you're working a lot, but like the stuff that it's measuring is often different from like you might just be walking for parts of that time, but then you might be climbing for other parts of that time, right? right? So how do you factor in, is it heart rate? Is it distance? Is it altitude? Like, you know, there's a lot of interesting questions about like, what what is it actually measuring here? One of the things I was pleased to see is that it used, I didn't realize, um, you know, there are lots of places along these, this huge, uh, it's Point Reyes National Seashore and uh, lots of places along the mountain and hills and trails that don't have cellular service. And um, despite not having cellular service, as long as you're in a clear area, you've got GPS. And so it was tracking our route along the map that whole time. Um, So it was really cool to afterward uh, be able to see kind of what our trail actually looked like because we ended up taking a wrong turn at one point and went out towards the coast. Um, And so we could see, oh, that's where we went wrong. We were supposed to go back this (laughs) way. Uh, But it was just kind of neat having that. So even if you're not able to track things uh, per perfectly. Uh, it is nice to have that information kind of on a base level. And then knowing the calorie burn of the situation um, yeah. can be helpful in making sure that you properly replenish yourself and uh, get that going. Because um, 
the next day, uh, I had eaten enough, but I don't think my partner did. And so he was just out of commission the whole next day. Um, I was like, well, you could stand to eat some more food because you just <laughs> destroyed yourself yesterday. Um, and yeah, so that, that's that. I did want to, uh, there's a great article from 9to5Mac that talks about how to, um, this is one way to potentially fix this, but as we've talked about before, um, there's also uh, a certain level of of looking into the sexism of the situation because this does seem to happen um, more often to women than it does to men with their yes. Apple Watch fitness data. Uh, but one thing that we know you can try is resetting uh, your fitness calibration. And so you basically go into the Apple Watch app, you scroll down um, and choose my watch uh, in the bottom left corner, tap privacy, and then tap reset fitness calibration data, at which point then you need to go outside and do a 20-minute walk or run while uh, in an area that has GPS reception. Um, upon doing that, it is supposed to uh, reset that fitness calibration data and kind of start you over uh, with fresh data. So if you are noticing differences in what you would expect versus what's happening, that is a great way to, um, to kind of try something. It's a troubleshooting step.